Hi, my name is Pete Ryan. I'm with Beacon Adhesive in Mount Vernon, New York. Uh, we have a few products, one uh, that is new to the market and one that we've been selling for a few years. One is foam tack adhesive and the other is foam finish. Uh, first, I'm going to show you what foam tack adhesive uh, does, what it will uh, do to make your builds a lot more easier and uh, last a very long time. So I'll get right into showing you how it works. First thing is with foam tack is how to make a hinge. Uh, with foam tack adhesive, one of the unique uh, attribute, attributes for the product is that you can actually make a hinge without using Blenderm, just solely using the adhesive. This is a finished product that is completely bonded. This is a, a piece cut in two, put together, extremely flexible. Uh, it will not break down over time. It will not yellow. The foam will rip before the actual foam tack uh, breaks away. It will not dissolve. How we do it, I'll show you real fast, is you take a piece of foam, you bevel the edge like so, you take foam tack, you put a nice bead right down the edge of the fold. What you're going to do is you're going to put these two together similar to contact adhesive application. You're going to put them together, pull them apart, and you're going to do this for a series of about 10 to 12 times. You could do it actually a little bit more. And what you're doing is you're drawing off the solvent blend that is in the mixture, ultimately leaving just the adhesive itself. So you just do continue, do, continue doing this, and as you're doing this, you're going to feel the adhesive getting more and more aggressive. And it's going to get stringy as well. As you can see, it's definitely stringing up now. You'll leave it apart for about 10 to 15 seconds. In the meantime, I'll show you how we do a butt joint as well. You're just going to put a line of adhesive right down the center of the foam. With foam tack, less is more. You don't need a lot of adhesive. You just need enough to cover. You're going to put it together just like so. And the same, same application. You're going to pull them apart, put them together. Once again, drawing off the adhesive and what's left is, drawing off the solvent, what's left is the adhesive. And you'll see it now string up. That is telling you that it's working. For the joint, we're going to put it together. What you do at this point, you take your finger, you rub it right down the back of it, you get it on your finger, it comes right off. What you have at this point is a live joint. 15 to 20 minutes, you can be up flying. Eight hours is full cure that is the joint. Now the butt joint, you put it together, same thing, rub your finger on it, you won't even see the break after a while. This will be stronger than the actual foam itself, it will not tear apart. This particular product is called Foam Tack Foam Finish. And what it is, it's a coating that goes onto the foam, rough, rough, surf rough surface uh, foam, just like here, EPP, which you have all the nooks and crannies, and if you desire to smooth all this out to where you either want to paint or have a nice glass-like finish, I would like to show you a finished version of this. Here is the untreated EPP. Here is the foam finish. As you can see, it's nice and uh, slick. All you have to do at this point is you could take a, a 180 grit or 200 or even 220 grit sandpaper. Sand it all down so you have a nice slick coating and you can apply each coating as desired until you, until you get exactly what you're looking for. I will coat a piece of the foam just to show you how it's done. As you can see, it's a nice creamy consistency. It goes on extremely well. What you'll do is you'll take the foam just draw it down on the stick. You'll see it, it really does apply nicely to the foam. You get it into all the nooks and crannies. Go back and forth like so. You'll, it does a few passes and it really does fill in all the voids. And what you would do at this point is you would let it dry for probably about 45 minutes to an hour. And then you can apply the second coat. 
at which you will have a finished coating, very lightweight, very durable. It adds nice rigidity to the plane, rigidity as well as flexibility. So if you do have an impact, it will absorb the energy without cracking or anything like that. So once again, this is foam finish. This is a new product for us at Beacon. If you're interested in getting any of these party, uh, products, all you have to do is go to foamtech.com. There is a where to buy section as well as an online store, and we're adding new stores constantly uh, in your areas, and hopefully we will get to all the areas that everybody wants to buy our products in. It will take a little time, but we'll get there. Thank you very much.